Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. I am a master student of MBA University of Sorry and Nations. And for the completion of my thesis program, here is the title Estimation of Occupational Hazards and Their Prevention Among Dental Surgeons in Dhaka City, Bangladesh. Here's the abstract for it. The general focus. So, chapter one. What is dentistry and about the oral health? Dentistry achieved a valuable profession now. And dentistry is one of the branch of medicine which included oral health, teeth, gum, and the all the necessary part of our own cavity. And in Bangladesh has developed more in expertise and techniques to be much better than in previous times. In 1980, the BMDC, which is the Bangladesh Medical and Dental Science uh, Dental Council, were established under the Bangladesh Medical Council Act, which was passed in 1973. The BDS program, which is Bachelor of Dental Surgery, has the various of the post-graduation like PGT, FCPS, MS, MD, MS, and some other different fields. So, what is the scenario in Bangladesh now about the occupational hazards? The total dentistry is occupational hazards to me. Because a dental chair, the variation of the instruments is all kind of hazardous thing. There are now 68,000 dentists in Bangladesh approximately. Registered they are under the BNDC. And that's the scenario of the after completion of BDS intern students with senior in the chamber or the hospital or any kind of institutions. What is occupational hazards? In every occupation, there are particular hazards, and this is also true for dentistry. The professional needs to improve, protect themselves from various occupational hazards as they are most importantly first is depression. It's very common in young dentists and for this the result is stress because of lack of job vacancies, lack of senior health, and lack of how to improve myself within the short time of period. And so they leave them depressed, stressed at both time. So here is the, both is depression and Stress is leads to most commonly cardiovascular disease, which is high blood pressure and other things. And also low blood pressure is included here. Hand wrist, hand or wrist and shoulder pain. Okay. When a dentist started his career, the median nerve is compressed most of the time because of the resulting movement of it. And the numbness of the vein is also occurred because of this. And the musculoskeletal disorders, which is included like your vertebra, neck pain, and head pain also because the rotatory movement of the head, the neck is also included here. The back pain is also more common in disorders and especially lower back pain is most commonly found in female. Muscle spasm or cramp, this is included like calves, foot, front thigh, back thigh, the third muscle in the hand, and the tricep of the Spondylitis, this is a new, this is a new thing like inflammations of the vertebrae spondylitis due to severe neck and back pain. Continuous sitting position in awkward, awkward way, and this is a collapse the vertebra and shrink and the drag. And the space between this and the bone to narrow and eventually collapse in most of the dentists in Bangladesh. Radiation hazards. Most of the cases, uh, there is an extra machine set up in chamber or in hospital in the private clinic. So, the radiation office is directly <coughs> impacted, not also the patient, also the dentist, the hygienist, and the assistants also. And exposure to high radiation levels can have a range of effects, 
such as vomiting. However, it is provides such a low dose of radiation that they are not believed to cause any immediate health problems. Radiation can harm almost every person in death and chamber. Dermatitis. Because of using lots of chemical elements, allergic contact dermatitis in dentistry may affect. In orthodontics, aerobotics treatment. However, rubber gloves are most important here. The allergy situation is called as here. Barred by equipments. Instruments are invaluable part in dentistry work. With high quality and low and the power of equipment needed in dentistry to work smoothly, finely to tooth and gum. And the laparoscopic electromedical devices is all are needed, which is emerging and this pose the same hazards as pottery. Respiratory disorders. Due to cutting of the tooth several times to remove the caries, the tooth borne particles also is a problem. Eyesight or vision problems. Well, long time focusing on a particular part, a tooth germ or which tooth you want to treat it is causing eyesight or vision problem like a blur area. Market poisoning, which is now with filling materials, which is now banned in almost every country. Biological health hazards, which is most important thing. It's Infectious agents of human origins that include viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Therefore, it is greatest concern to the dental professionals. There are HIV, hepatitis B, S hepatitis C virus, and the mycobacterium tuberculosis through blood connection. And dental surgeons are prone to blood body hazards by sharp injuries, frequent movement of the patients, and variations of dental procedures. <coughs> that is hypersensitivity, which is powdered drops which is most commonly happened allergy reaction to the hand, your mouth, and causes reaction was undetermined but attributed to a possible allergy to local anesthetic and managed to be corticosteroids and antihistamines. Hearing loss is another part of because of the noise in this hearing loss here in the not be symptomatic. The first complications and the reasons for seeking a hearing pollution may be tinnitus. Noise is always present during the work of dental staffs divided into distracting noise and the distracting noise. Ergonomy, which is, means repetitive movement. Most ergonomic injuries in dentistry result from contracting thought for prolonged periods of time. There is a normal sitting posture when when you are in the rotary movement, the continuously, and you have this. Thought the forward hill, tilt is previously resisted by your erector spine, which originates on your sacrum and insert into the occipital nose on the back of your skull. Non ionizing radiation, which is happen during of the operator tissue dependent on the particular well blood, which will determine the type and location of biological effect. During filling material with composites and the resin which is non ionizing radiation become a serious topic nowadays. Legal measures. In every country, there are relevant standards and regulations which apply to the practice of dentistry. To help assure a safe work environment in dental treatment, the hazard awareness and prevention of legal risks should be made known to all clinical works of the dental hospital. Workstation hazards, which is uh, most Dentists are not very sensitive, that may mainly uh, because variations of the equipment and their random uses, and they overlooked it most of the time. Which is gas or light leakage, may leave you burst from the chamber, and the equipment malfunctions or breakdown, and slippery floor because of the biological liquid solidifying agent, in case of the uh, impressions of the materials of tooth, and the forces for cleaning of broken glasses. Inappropriate or poor lightning. Dental offices needed proper and a good lightning environment for each and every single work. Lack of light power and longer uses of lightning devices can damage the surrounding line of the dental chair and interfere the line of electricity during the working time, which is most common here. The methods. This is chapter three. The response rate. 
There is a growth of 68,000 registered students in all over the Bangladesh. By serving the only Dhaka city, and the response rate is 723 dental surgeons. And 27.7% uh, uh, of not responded when a registered. And some of them are out of the country, and some of the retirement, and the immediate after graduation, busy schedule, and they didn't respond for it. And this survey is run uh, both privately with Barkal and the region form and also by online questionnaire. And then there's the collection, those who survey, and online survey. There's the years of practices and occupational hazards that face to which and may in the Google form. And how long they are facing this? Duration of facing of occupational hazards. The Google form was made for dental professionals with three or above years of practical experience and approved by AUS, which is American University of Summer and Nations Institutional Ethics Review Board. So the main or the ultimate estimation will come out from the information the surgeons provided with their professional status. And the electric appliances and equipment are protected from overloading by means of electric overloading devices such as the fuses of the circuit breakers. And the occupational hazards, how can this avoided? Self-motivation exercise in the full form study, nothing at all to work for some times. And the worst question hazards they face in their real life. And they are facing this how long? And how to avoid this? Also showing them. The results. This chapter explores the results. After four months of survey, you know, 723 dentists were responded with every details of questionnaire, and there are 551 males and 100, uh, 172 females, and their mean age was 36.8 years. The average age range of the persons are 26 years to 67 years, 3 to 26 years, and the physical practice works almost 7 or 62 person in a day, and were attending 8 to 20 patients per day with a person. And worst of hazards are more common in our industry as discussed in chapter 2. The burn by 33%, needle break 54%, and the biological health hazards for few in calculations are reported 40%. There's a severe occupational hazards affected through general health by 4.2%. The long working, most stress, packing, tension, before work, to partner person. The daily crucial is chronic psychological work related complaints due to lack of sensitivity, 91.8% reported. And there is the occupational hazards in the psychic blur. And sharp instruments the most commonly, which is 92%. The recorded worst social hazards, hazards rate. Lack of ventilation system, which is more important for the blood body and the ear body system works, 90.2%. AC or gas and leakage, malfunction, sterilization, missing hazards. The most common questions were asked to every person when about their time for vacation, personal space, hobbies, lifestyle, satisfaction with jobs, struggling with work, working hours. These are almost 96 percent dental surgeons gave a positive response to every question. And 33 percent were taking break, 22 percent maintained their health. And in the first of young generation struggle with their job for not having a good salary based job. Every person has some important essential electric equipment that is good for the environment of the chamber and the every person in here. But their lack of maintenance and hazards work with this person face is your gas and leakage problems while reported to one person sterilization machine burst off. Chapter 5 Discussion. Factors of repetitions. Out of the total number of practitioners in Dhaka City are received full responses from 723 dental surgeons. Of those who couldn't fly, most of them couldn't participate because of retirement, busy schedules, as I said in Chapter 3. And the response rate was considerably good at 72%. And the poor physical infractures, infrastructures, education, summer vaccine, preventable diseases, administration of immunization. Ideally, the immunization and the surveillance program should be provided easy, authorized. And the change of posture should most commonly fail to adapt the comfortable postures by the dentist. Use of support to maintain the good vertical state and a safe reaching 
of the instruments, normal arm postures can relieve the wrist and shoulder pain. Use of comfortable equipment which do not break you out of your blood blood pressure and the managed time. Decontamination is a term used to describe procedure that removes contamination by killing microorganisms. And disinfection is a means of decontamination services must be decontaminated after any spill of potentially infectious materials at the end of the workday. And here the comprehensive system should include the following components. A process that ensures comprehensive hazard assessments are conducted for all sites and infection prevention and the supporting system that include the accurate policy and the waste management services because this is most important in medical and dental sector. And these are the preventive measures. The total responsive response uh, is 96 percent, which is the taking break and making that overall of this. And work special preventive measures is almost 6.4 percent. In chapter five, conclusions and recommendations. Conclusion, the surgeons of Bangladesh have to identify and assess both occupational and restriction hazards and determine appropriate controls. Because of performing a variety of functions, biohazardous materials should carefully handle while working. Vaccination should be done mostly after graduation if not having this previously to save from blood body disease. And the recommendation, each clinic provider should have an immunization and health surveillance program in place that is appropriate to the size and type of workplace. Educations about vaccine preventable diseases, risk assessment, administration of immunizations, documentations, and follow up. And these are the references. Acknowledgement I deeply appreciate the all time support by Professor Dan Lester, President of American University of Sovereign Nations, and also appreciate the support and advice from Professor Shangri Oscroman and Dash Professor Shama Shogirman. Thank you. And the awesome families, customers, and professionals. And these are the my Google questionnaire from uh, two pages of the format. And the last two things. That's the finishing. Just mind and love. Because with these two words, you can win the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rafa. Okay, well done. Thank you for your recommendations. Uh, we have some uh, dental professionals in the room as well, who might, and many patients. Okay, uh, some comments and suggestions for her thesis, please. Thank you. It's good. Uh, it's a good endeavor. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Uh, it's very elaborate. Thank you. Uh, what a statistical tool or measuring tool for estimation you have used in your analysis of data or pending results? Okay. Sir, so first, I, uh, the main thing is I first do the door to door survey to the seniors and the, because they have the ultimate knowledge of the modern and the old techniques. So, my survey was to visit them privately to estimate the how they use the equipment and how the how they use the instruments to avoid or the hazardous uh, thing they faced and how they prevent this. So the most of the main data I collected from them and the always survey is the main thing as I am a dentist, I have also the uh, personal experiences of this. So it is easy for me to collect this and uh, do the survey for my thesis. Any statistics you use? Um, not the, uh, the statistic used because there is no uh, report here or questionnaire uh, done for the Bangladesh. So I have to uh, just estimate the other countries, the like Asian countries, because our um, systems and the way of the treatment is matching with the Asian countries, not, uh, not variably is uh, matched with the other foreign countries. So that's why I use just uh, the Asian countries' variables, their treatment procedures, and the, all the methods. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Other comments? Yes, please. Can the mic go there, please? Yes. Thank you very much. 
this was a nice presentation. Actually, uh, Professor Anandasam was uh, asking you about what tools you use through your study, <coughs> whether it's Excel or SPSS, something like that. Oh, there's an Excel. He was asking that. So my uh, observation was that it's good. Uh, only one thing, some of the graphs and data tables, those who uh, those are placed in methods section, yes. it's better to set in the result section. Okay. So please shift that. Thank you. Sure, sure. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, is behind you, uh, Rashid, please. Uh, thank you, Apu, for your uh, presentation. Uh, my only concern is like it's just a comment because I belong to the occupational section sure. as well, occupational and environmental section. Uh, my comment about your paper is it's excellently done because you have covered, I have seen internal environment regarding light, air, air quality, and all other internal environment that is there in occupational hazards as an occupational health problem. You have included that. You have included most importantly the ergonomics. I guess you have also included some diseases which we can get from other patients because like dentist needs to work in very close contact. And you have also used other, uh, you have also like mentioned about AC and electricity lines. So I guess you have got everything covered. So I guess like, congrats, like well done. Thank you so much, nice perception. Thank you. Um, other comments? I'd like to ask you, Rafael, I've been to some dental clinics in Dhaka, including yours. Uh, it seems like the hazards outside the door are much greater than the hazards in the door. So, what's your comment on that? Well, because of the uh, patient's uh, <coughs> safety and uh, most probably the noises and the elements, so that's why they have the two doors. And the, some of the noise of the hand pieces, <coughs> lightning procedures, all are not temporaries. And I had some patients like, oh, you're doing with the sharp instrument. I don't like the sound of it. I have to go to the other uh, outside the room. So that's the main thing we have to separate it. So following up further, do you think professional standards of operating a clinic need to be different to the standards outside. So if I think of my daily life and your daily life, the most likely cause of injury to you in Dhaka City is probably the traffic. Next, maybe the air pollution. So what's the context of uh, professional occupational hazards? What would be the most important thing that you were You listed about 25. What's the most important thing? Okay. The most important thing is when um, we cutting a tooth to remove caries, the tooth burning was sometimes hazardous for respiratory problems because some of asthma problems. So if they uh, face that, they will have some asthmatic reaction and the, uh, some of the some composite materials and the latter's powder uh, allergic reactions. So. These are the main things, and uh, especially the children, they are like not sitting in the one place. And the, all the dental chambers and the sharp instruments are um, in front of us. So they are like touching everything and hurt her, hurt herself or himself. So that's why the main, those things are important for divination. Yes, uh, Tashlima, please. I just wanted to have a knowledge on an uh, issue which is bothering me for the last three years. My husband had heart problem and the day he died, he had a, a you know, a, what do you call it, a root canopy. And, and uh, some people, they told me, what did he get? Uh, did she, you know, the, the dentist take permission? or did anything for which she put too many uh, anesthetic things in his uh, variation or not. Anyway, uh, so what happened, I don't know. Is that any effect 
of the dental or occupational hazards. So is it does the fall in that? Or uh, you know what happened? Um, then I just want to ask you something if you have permission me. Um, there was an informed consent to do a recovery canal? No, no. No, no, it's not, no written, written. Okay. Uh, he had a high blood pressure? He had high blood pressure. He had uh, stenting in his heart, uh, stenting for a second time. Okay. And then he wanted to do a uh, root canal. The doctor wanted to do a so he said, uh, okay, I'm doing it today, this is a Friday, and uh, so it's my holiday. So I better do root canal today. Did he check that his pressure before the root canal started? I don't think so. Okay, that's the most important thing. In case of diabetes and high blood pressure patient, you should have checked the diabetes rate and the pressure rate. If the pressure is above 130, you shouldn't do anything surgical procedure, like root canal, and uh, other things because when you touch the root canal and open the tooth, you open the nerve. So when you open the nerve of it, the vessels come out and it will continuously come out and affect the whole nerve of it. So it will sometimes may, uh, uh, what to say, affect the, uh, affect the person which uh, the uh, institutions of the cardiovascular diseases. So in that case, we always prefer to check the pressure and the diabetes rate. He was not diabetic, but you know, the heart failure, was it anyway connected with that root canal? It may connect it, yes ma'am. Because, it yes ma'am. So you know, informed consent and all this? Uh, yes, that's the same thing to do. Because uh, within the pressure, uh, within the pressure inhibition, 120 to 130, you can do all the things. So high blood pressure patients, we do not prefer any kind of surgery, including root canal, because you have to open the nerve vessels. Thank you for this one. Thank you, ma'am. That's a really nice question. Thank you, Tom. My please, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Rao Gopinathan, for your nice presentation. Um, I'd like to ask you about uh, your recommendations specifically. What do you recommend for the dental surgeons and what do you recommend especially, especially for the hospital administrators? Uh, I will ask you something. About what? To prevent the okay. absorption. Okay. So to maintain the posture of your, the most important thing is musculoskeletal disorder. You should maintain a straight positions and you should first, most of the thing is general ventilation system which is most probably causing the respiratory disorders and the vaccination thing is provided, should be provided from the hospital. And in hospital, the extra room should be separated from the private chamber. And in the private chamber, we talk about the other two rooms from the other of the sterilization machines and the compressors of the dental chair. So this, this separate, because dental treatment is all about machines and the instrumentation things. So you have to separate it to avoid more hazardous situations. Thank you. Uh, that is the part of the hospital administrative uh, yes. task of them. But what do you recommend for the government policy makers? How can they prevent it? Do you have any particular active... active uh, how can they prevent it in, in this case? Well, like in Thakarindal, Thakarindal College, the uh, first government legal college in Bangladesh, they have a uh, separated room, like surgical room, aeronautical room, orthodontics room, and all other things. But the government are not uh, taking the most important steps that the blood morning procedures. They're all using the same instrument, the same uh, gloves, but the sometimes there's, when they're just avoiding it, or the uh, look up on from it to uh, measures, uh, not, not to measure the catheter situations, uh, so the government should ta uh, take a proper steps on it most probably to uh, use the separate instruments from it and uh, radiation systems from the others of the uh, other surgical procedures or the other rooms from the radiation section. Occupational hazards can also occur in the rural areas of Bangladesh, like in rural places, uh, in rural hospitals work when a dental surgeon is working there. So if suddenly any operational hazard um, happened, what 
to recommend for that surgeon or the health worker uh, to do immediately? In Bangladesh, in rural area, there are less facilities to overcome any kind of hazardous sections because there is no facilities. Like there is, there even uh, there is no extra machine here. So the only the hazardous things offer is like uh, your blood borne uh, diseases and the sharp one will pick. So the vaccination is the most. Uh, important thing in rural areas because that's the uh, infectious disease which causes more infection. Thank you for your nice presentation and I would like to congratulate you for your success with the Master's presentation. Thank, Thank you, you so much Dr. Parma. Last name please. Uh, to answer the question of uh, Professor Kusli Mama Kroon, uh, my yes, uh, you were asking something about public disease and conservative procedure and not surgical procedure. Root canal is not a surgical procedure so and a conservative procedure. Yes. And if you have any kind of cardiac problem, uh, for example, hypertension or ischemic heart disease or so on, uh, you go to check it out first. Uh, if you have elevated blood pressure, you go to lower it down first, take medication, and then go to dentist. Uh, what kind of procedure you really need uh, is need of heart decision. If you need a surgical procedure, it is safe to do, uh, 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 but prior to that, you, uh, you better take uh, antibiotic or cardiac uh, medication like that. Okay. Uh, uh, then uh, it actually varies. If you need a conservative procedure, you still have to take an antibody. And it's safe to take, uh, safe, safe to do any kind of conservative procedure like uh, root canal treatment, filling, or whatever it is. Uh, if you may even extract a tooth, which is surgery, if you have elevated blood pressure, but before that, you go to take medication first. Firstly, secondly, uh, if you have condition like heart failure or uh, congestive cardiac failure, whatever you call it, uh, you go to take consent from your cardiologist first, and in case of stenting or angioplasty, uh, you cannot stop your, uh, you know, anticoagulant uh, that you're taking, like you know, uh, echo spray or topical drug or uh, medication like that. You have to take it, uh, and uh, you should not go for any kind of surgery uh, within six months. And some cardiologists prefer it for one year. And after that, you can go for any kind of surgical procedure if it is safe for you and it is recommended by your cardiologist. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, for any kind of surgical procedure, you want to uh, stop taking medication like anticoagulant four to five days prior to your surgery, plus you want to take uh, antibiotic. That's it. And uh, just to remind you, <laughs> and all again, uh, root canal treatment is a conservative procedure which is safe for uh, cardiac patients, no matter what the disease is. Okay. Right. okay th thank you. Uh, it varies. So the yeah. you, uh, when you, you, she was in pain, so she again did the decision. Yeah. Okay, we have to. Do this. Her, 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 her. Okay. Thank you, Rafan. Uh, would you have any last words? Thank you, Rafan. Thank you very much, and congratulations to you.